Today I'm going to do a review of the Cybex Pram. This is the Wings by Jeremy Scott. Thank you to all my subscribers and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe. Every single like that I get on my videos really helps my channel grow so if you could do that I would really appreciate it. Alright let's get into the video. If you are a subscriber and you watch my pram videos often you know how much this pram means to me this is like my dream pram that I thought I would never get and it is absolutely amazing I feel like once I got it I expected it to be kind of awful but the features on this pram are absolutely amazing and I appreciate it even more so although it does make me a little nervous to take it out, I absolutely love this pram and I have tried it out in a few different functions, especially with things like uh, child size and fitting in the seat. So let's start at the beginning. I always like to start with the handlebar. I like to call it the top of the pram. It does have an adjustable handlebar. So you do have multiple positions. So we have one, two, three, four, four positions and this is really quite high, way too high for me. Honestly, the low position's kind of good for me, but I'd probably use it maybe one up. I really just like how they give you more than one position, like up or down, they give you multiple. And of course the buttons are a beautiful gold color. Everything on here, I just feel like they've taken that extra time to design and it just makes it awesome. The hood is really cool, it is, extended at the moment but it does zip up so you can have it smaller if you want to it just has a zipper it's strange it has a zipper from either side at the back just this far but it looks really nice and neat I feel like everything again they've done is definitely a design we have a still a huge hood when it zips up it is a little creepy which I don't love I don't know what the go with that is, but it seems to be a designer brand thing regardless of how nice they are or how expensive they are. They have some sort of creak. And there is the hood all the way down. We also have a peekaboo window up the top that is a mesh plus a plastic. I still don't know why they do that. I know they put like the mesh in there to make the plastic like darker, but I don't know why they put the plastic in there as well. It kind of doesn't make sense. If anyone knows why they put mesh and plastic in the peekaboo windows, please comment below. I would love to know because a few pranks have done that, like the baby jogger. And I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but I know definitely the baby jogger has done it because I questioned that just the other week. <laughs> Coming down, of course, on our hood, we have our beautiful wings. I don't know if you can wash the hood and get it off the wings, but the wings are attached to the hood and they are a part of the hood. Uh, which makes it, you know, they're not going to come off, they're not going to be a pain, they're not going to get in the way kind of thing, they're just a structural part of the pram. But to wash this pram is so easy, everything basically comes off, and it also comes off in sections, which I really like. So if you just got the front part dirty, you can just take that piece off and wash it. The seat is huge, I like can't get over how big the seat is, it's such a big seat, it's wide. I do have a pram liner in here right now, of course, it is black, 
with gold feathers because the feathers have obviously come off the wings on the side. <laughs> and I have this fabric, so it was just meant to be. The seat is rather padded. I feel like adding that pram line in also protects your seat and gives a little bit extra padding, even though it's fine. The harness is a five point harness, but it's not a five piece breakaway. It only breaks into three pieces, which I don't love, but it's honestly not that hard to get your uh, child's hand into the five piece, but there's no option of just using the three piece down the bottom. So that is a little bit of a pain, but not too much of a pain. They have a beautiful gold buckle here. And on the front belly bar, it has Cybex with the gold on it. To remove the belly bar, you press the button and it will come off. It is a typical belly bar, which gets an A plus from me. And if you wanted to remove both, you just press both buttons in at the same time and it will release. Sometimes I find it a little tricky to remove belly bars with nails, false nails on, but I think you get used to it over time. It's a little easier if you just try and do one at a time, and if you needed to, you would just do that. To recline the seat, there is a gold leather, of course, at the back, or one hand recline, and there's multiple positions, allowing it to lie completely flat. And see how big that seat is. I put my friends big four-year-old in here and she had room in the top still. My friend did say that she felt like she was a little squashed here, but I don't think she really was. I think she had plenty of room. And she definitely had a lot of height in the top. So that has four seating positions. Sorry about that, we are having a few problems with my toy. Um, rope, whatever it's called, toy link chain staying up there. It's a little hot and that hook has decided that it wants to continue to fall down. So we're taking it down and I'll let it reset and hopefully it stays up there, but if not, I don't know. Coming down here, we have an adjustable footrest so it can be at baby's level or it can go one, two positions down and then it can just lift up. So up to you what you want there. And it is a longer footrest. I will show you what it looks like without a fan liner on it. Next thing down the frame, we have the basket. The basket is a really neat design. I don't know why, but I really love how they have designed it. It just pulls out. It has some really strong magnets in there. And then you can put your stuff in. If it's small enough, you can just close it again if you want to. If you don't want it opening in and out, there's actually a snap here and a snap here and you can close it and snap it so it doesn't uh, open up. Not that these strong magnets are going to give way, but like you have to pull hard to open this. And you can also leave the basket out if you want that extra space, which I find really cool. The brake is directly in the middle and completely black. Australian safety standards, the brake is supposed to be red. So I don't know how they got away with selling this here. Uh, just that, yes, generally that is it. The Australian safety standard is that it has to have a safety strap and the brake is supposed to be red. If you have any more information about that, I would also love to know. Coming down the frame, we have a really beautiful black frame for the handlebar and for this part here, it has a uh, gold writing that says pram. And of course the bottom of the frame is gold and so beautiful and of course we get to our wheels. They're such a thin narrow wheel. They are foam filled in here so it pushes really nice. I haven't taken this pram on really rough terrain but I walked across grass and it pushed fine. You can also lock the front wheels for rough terrain so two gold levers at the front will lock the wheels in place. Did you hear them click? and now they are stuck for rough terrain. You can go straight over that. To take them off being locked, slide them back up. You heard them unclick and now they swivel again. It seems that all of the buttons on this pram that do something are gold. So to fold the pram, if you have the seat on facing forward, you can fold it with the seat on. 
and it will make a really nice compact fold. If you have the bassinet on, you have to take the bassinet off to fold it. If your seat is facing you, you have to take the seat off to fold it. So I will show you the fold without the seat on. So I'm going to remove the seat. Now we have the gold button at the top and a gold lever or a switch. So we're going to use our thumb on the switch and push it to our left across. And at the same time, we're going to use our fingers and squeeze the trigger. Then we're going to push our handlebar down all the way. And we're going to push it so it engages these two gold levers. And we're going to step on the back with our foot and push the wheels forward. So there is our fold. It is quite small, but it is long. It's very light. There we go. If you're having trouble folding your pram, it could be because these two little gold bits here aren't engaging. That is the last little um, tip. So make sure that it pushes all the way down and then it's kind of a weird motion. You want to like put your foot on the black bar down here and kind of push the back wheels forward and you also want to pull the front wheels backward. So it's kind of a weird motion. It's quite difficult to do if you're not on a flat surface, I found out. So that is a little bit of a con if you park on a hill or something that can be a little tricky to fold your pram so I feel like it needs a proper flat surface to fold properly. Now I'll show you the fold with the seat on. So if our seat is on all we need to do is get our recline uh, lever here and lift it up and we're just going to push our seat instead of backwards we're going to push it forwards and it comes right over and I feel like the coolest thing about this is it actually disengages the belly bar. It knows that it has to go over and it has to lock in the right place. So it goes over all on its own and it folds right down. Then we just do our same fold. So we squeeze our trigger and push uh, our thumb to the side. We go all the way down and we uh, pull it in like that. I actually find it a little bit easier to fold with the seat on just that it gives some weight on the front wheels so they want to push in while I push the back wheels in. It's nice and easy to cut around behind you if you have anywhere to go and you can extend the handle if you also wanted to pull it around behind you. I'm not sure if it actually has a safety to keep it in place while it's folded up because if you were to stand it, it kind of just flops back out, but it will stand on its own, which is pretty good. To bring it back up, we're gonna actually push down on the handlebar because it's already halfway on the, it's already halfway there, it's already um, in that position. So there's that, and then we're just going to push it down. And we're going to squeeze our trigger and that will release locks on these two little gold locks here and we can put our seat into whatever position we like. You don't have to uh, press the gold lever, you can just pull the seat up on its own. So just either side will allow you to bring it up and then you simply lift your belly bar back, back into place. This is a really cool thing because I have a pram similar and you have to take the belly bar off to fold it, which really annoys me. So this feature is absolutely top of the notch and I love it. Not holding this trigger in, uh, so when I do push the frame down, I kind of push it down until it engages and then I let it lock in. It's locked in there on its own. So down by the seat here, there are two gold buttons that you press in and lift and it will remove the seat and you can turn it to face you. Nice and easy to line up. It has all of the recline options, so all the way flat and all the way back up. And now Bub can face you or get away from the sun. We also have the bassinet attachment. So let's swap them over. All I need to do is press these buttons on the side and lift. 
One thing I would have absolutely loved to have on this pram, which they did do on the next model up that I do not own, is memory buttons in the side. So what you do is you press them in, they click, they hold in place, and then you can lift up by the belly bar. With this one, I have to press in the buttons at the exact same time and lift up with these little circle things here. So I find that that's not the easiest, they could have an easier way, but their design team has worked that out for the next model. Here is our bassinet. We're going to just line it up and place it on. Nice and easy. I kind of lined that up funny at the start. This is a huge bassinet. And I mean huge. <laughs> I don't know why it's so big, but I feel like they want you to get more room out of it. The seat is huge and this bassinet is huge. So maybe they are listening to the customers and what they want. And a lot of pram seats are really small. So I feel like you pay the money, you get a huge bassinet and you get a huge seat with this pram. The hood works as normal. Again, still clunky. If anyone has a Cybex and it doesn't have the creakiness to it, I don't know if it's because of the wings or whatnot, but if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to stop the creaking, please let me know. I would love to know. It just, it's a bit off-putting. But also please note that we are in a very quiet house with a very quiet room so that I can talk to you, you can hear everything as clear as possible. So that's another reason why we hear it so much. When you put something like this outside, you hear a lot less sound of the frame and especially in a shopping center or a crowded area where people are. The frame works exactly the same with the bassinet. It's just that it faces you now. The hood is very similar. It still has this little mesh uh, peekaboo and it also can zip up if that's what you wanted it to. Again, same size, same style zipper. It goes from here to here and it zips up or you can have it unzipped and have it over. One thing I noticed when having this out and about was that if the sun was really sunny and I was walking into it, I would have the hood all the way over because the sun was coming from everywhere and the sun would still come through this mesh part onto Bob. So I had to put a blanket over that part there so that no sun got in, which kind of makes me sad because you're looking at this beautifully designed pram and you're going to have to get a blanket to match it just to cover that little piece over. Or maybe you could make something that like, I don't know, something that attached on the inside to make the light continue over if you were that worried about the design. But I feel like that's just too much effort. You just want to put a blanket over it. You can also bring it down. I did try that, but the sun was coming from the sides as well, so I wanted this all the way down. So it removes the same way. It is pivotal, and it can be completely removed as well. Just click that back on. One of my favorite things about this bassinet is that it can be completely washed. The whole thing can come off and be washed. I also have a bassinet liner in here just in case and the padding in the bottom of it is amazing look how thick it is it's very thick very comfortable I think well I haven't been in here but I think it would be and it's perfect it fits perfectly I love that A few cons, there aren't any side pockets or anything in the bassinet, which is a really nice feature that I love. I think I've only ever seen that in one bassinet though, and it was called a deluxe bassinet, so I feel like with the deluxe you get pockets. <laughs> I do not have the car seat and adapters for this pram, as I live in Australia and they are not certified in our country so I'm not sure if I would even be able to find the car seat and adapters for this particular pram. I totally forgot to mention this I'm so sorry. On the handlebar either side it has this tiny little circle on both sides and I believe that is to hook your shopping on or a bag or something small 
Obviously be careful when hanging things off your pram, but I think it's a nice little neat way to add something on. I don't know any other reason. If that is not the reason, please comment below and do let me know. But I think that that's what it is. I hope this video has been helpful to you and has taught you a little bit about the Cybex pram. This is, again, the Wings by Jeremy Scott. It is such a beautiful pram. It's not for everybody, but it's definitely for me, and I absolutely love this pram. I also just can't get over the fact that the seats are so big. The bassinet is huge, and the main seat is so big as well. I feel like you're definitely gonna get your value out of this pram. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe.